Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review of the Atomic Lighter. So, they showed this on TV from, you know, the ass scene on TV. Rechargeable, fuel free lighter. Lighting bulb technology, no fuel, no flint, no flame, won't fall out. Dual electronic art, so it is a dual art lighter, because I have seen some that are just one art, this one has two arts on there. Appearance made by a former Navy fire prior and award winning TV host Hunter Ells. And it's also made by uh, Bob Head. So on the back here it says Atomic Light is the. You kind of got cut off there, but. Um, there we go. Atomic Light is the new rechargeable light that works anywhere, anytime, with its Trayvon Lightning Bolt technology. It is fuel and flame free, so it lights, so it lights and stays lit without blowing out. Something kind of like it's a ball mount. Even in the windiest weather, like how Zippo claims, plus it recharges with the included USB cable, so you have. Fire where you need it to your home today. It's kind of hard from what you see on camera here. Some of the words gets cut off compared to what I'm seeing, so I'm actually letting through the camera lens. So, you're like, why is this guy stopping? Then it's like, look down what that word is. Yeah, from what I'm seeing through the camera lens and what the camera's picking up compared to looking a little sideways off camera, like. This, as you can see, it makes it a little bit awkward to see through the camera. So anyway, it says, easy open latch, on and off switch, so there is a little on and off switch on here. Slim and lightweight, charge status indicator. The secret, lightning bolt technology. Powered by dual high intensity electric arts, ready at the touch of a button. Patent pending, great around the house, won't blow out, charge with include USB cable. Um, there's something else that I've seen around here, but I can't find it right now. It says something like this is made from a lightweight body material. Where the heck did I see it? It was on the bots here. Huh. It told me what the material was. Was it here? I don't know, but uh, dojo.bobhead.com. It's a link down below in the description. So it's 20 bucks. So if you wonder how much, 19.99, 20 hour. I don't. I don't know where I've seen it. I know I've seen it on the pods because I looked at the pods earlier today. It said that it was like aluminum or some other metal alloy or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this open up. 
and we'll see if this is warped or not. Okay, so that's kind of stupid. They had you pull off this little uh, back plate kind of thing, and yet you still can't get it out of the pots. I mean, what the heck? That is just stupid. Because you still are going to need to take a pair of scissors to cut down the pots. So why even put these stupid little pieces that you got? Cut off out of the bat and stuff. So you get kind of like a little warranty card in there. Now here it shows that this punches out. See? Along with this. But looking at it this way, you can't even find the little punch out. I mean, look. Now if we take a little closely, we can find it. But, yeah. On the back here, obviously, you can tell. I don't know, I just cut things open. Like this. And what the heck, you still have to, uh, cut it open. Because you can't just pop your light out, because you have this. So... Still, you have to cut it open, because the way how this is packed, it's just like, okay, you pull that little bad piece off, then you open up this one, and then you just squeeze in there. No, you still start from here, so you still got to cut it. What's the point of even having these little pull things? So here's the little USB rechargeable cable. Then that piece just puts way on in here. Like that. So here, chose fully before first use to use to Switch to the on position. Press power button to light. So let's pop that one out. So it goes in there. It's our charge status. Light down there. So let's put the switch to on. Within the body and stuff. And it feels pretty good. Now this doesn't seem like it's closed. As you can see it goes from here and then there's this gap on this side. 
But pairing that. Okay, I fixed the gap. You just got pushed down a bit. Now it kind of looks like spring loaded. And it kind of is. Almost like a Zippo. And this is as far as the lid would go. So it's not like the lid's going to go all the way back. Straight like a Zippo. Can you hear that? Now on camera, that electricity right there is turning blue, but off camera, it's like a purplish violet. Kind of a small little flame. Well, not flame, but you know what I mean. So what we're like. So we would like a cigarette. Well, let's find out. Oh, and then there's your uh, fire button. So. We have fire, the cigarette lit. Okay. Uh, we're like a piece of paper. Let me find a piece of paper with this. Paper. Let's see. Let's. As you can see, paper lit. Okay, what about a cigar? Would this light a cigar, or is this kind of like for lighting little pieces of paper for like a campfire, or just for like cigarettes? So, let's find out what's a cigar. And as you can see, it lit the cigar. The cigar is lighted and lit it. That's the first time I ever had a nice, even burn on a cigar. I mean, wow, that's better than a cigar lighter. Now, we're like something like you know, a bitter cigar like this. Mm, I don't know, because I mean that one was, in comparison, a smaller cigar than this one, as you can see. Really like, like these super small little cigarettes? Yeah, definitely it should, because this one's more like a cigarette size. But yeah. Now we're like pipes. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm just going to doubt that right off the bat and say, no, it probably won't light pipes. But cigarettes, no problem. Pieces of paper, no problem. Um, pretty much to the small, maybe somewhat small, medium-ish size cigars. Like a Sister Sweet size, it will light, but anything beyond Sister Sweet, like a White Owl or a Philly or a Dutch Master. Um, I'm not going to say that it's going to light. It doesn't seem like it would. It might, but just due to how big the size of the diameter, like, you know, a White Owl, a Philly, a Dust Master cigar is, compared to, you know, like a standard such as Sweet or a Black and Mild. So, 
pretty much a standard such a sweet boy a mild cigar or any of the other literal cigars they're like cigarettes definitely obviously it likes a cigarette but it's a pair yeah so is it worth it for uh, 20 hours for a little dual art lighter um I'm gonna say yeah it is kind of worth it cuz I've been looking at them for like Amazon and they had like some juntier versions of this that's not guaranteed, not warranted, no name, but kind of like an off brand, generic brand, you know. Lights go for like 20, 30 bucks. Some even go for like 40. But uh, this one is from the SC on TV, so it's kind of a name brand, non name brand. And if you're like, wait me a name boy now, name boy. Well, as seen on TV, you know, it's a boy, as seen on TV. But it's not like a Zippo or a Bit lighter, you know, which is more name boy or a Scripto lighter. But for 20 bucks, for a cigarette and kind of a small to a small medium sized cigar lighter, yeah, it's okay. Would it be okay to take, like, hiking or camping? Sure, but I mean, if I'm going to go, like, camping or something like that, I would kind of want to taste, like, you know, a little bit more fire-ish type of thing, like a zipper lighter, a bit lighter, maybe some matches, or a flint and steel lighter with a striker, you know, something like that, or a magnesium ferro light, you know, something like that, but, uh, in a pinch, Small little piece of paper or like some leaves, dried leaves to get a little fire starting. Yeah, it's stood in fairy war with like dried leaves, but like with stits and little treads. Yeah, I'm gonna say it probably won't work. So, small tinder, like dried leaves, should have no problem with it, but uh, stits and little treads. I don't think it's going to get those light compared to, you know, actually whipping out your Zippo or a bit light or, you know, anything like that. But yeah, I seem pretty happy with it. So yeah, that's been a review of the ASEAN TV Atomic Lighter. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.